Okay, so now I am back, guys. So I connected it, guys. Remember, I told you I took it one sew down the sewing machine and I sewed it together. So I, then I take my measurements and go around and see if I got enough to fit. Okay, so I have enough to fit. And guys, this is the lining that we're going to use. So the next step, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to line up my lining. Okay. And the first thing what I'm going to do is go like this, guys. Come on. Glue. Don't be scared, Gina. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that I got this lined up perfectly. Because what we're doing is putting a lining on it okay and then rub it out guys rub it out I'm gonna have to get another stick of glue okay rub this down rub this down okay let me stop it guys I need to get another glue and I'll come right back okay, so to make this video not so long so you guys can see, I've already folded it down on one side and glued this one side down, guys. And now we're just going to glue down the other side. And i um, going to glue down this side. And this will make it a lot faster without you have to, you guys have to sit here all day while I'm just, you know, just basic steps. So I'm just rolling it over, guys. You guys can see, and we're sandwiching in the lining. Woo, sticking to my hand. So, that's all I'm doing, guys. I'm rolling it over and gluing it down. So when I roll it over, oh, stick it to my hand, and I'm just gluing it down, and I'm taking like paper clips to assure that it's going to stick. So, uh-oh. So, you guys see, this is the next step. I'm just rolling it over. So guys, since it's so messy... I'm just going to continue to keep rolling it over, guys. I don't got to make the video super long. So if you guys see, that's all I'm doing is rolling it over and gluing it down, guys. And then we'll come back with the closing steps. So if you guys see, I'm just rolling it over and gluing it down. All right. I'll come back with the next step. Hey guys, so if you guys can see now that I have the lining all closed in and there, it's all closed. So now the next step is, guys, so you see how I look with lining in there? Now the next step is taking it around my head to see how much and then closing it. So about right there. So now I flip it back over and it's time to close it. Now I'm wondering am I going to have to hand sew it because it might be too thick to go on my sewing machine. So I'm going to try it, guys, and come back. So I'm just going to close off, guys, the back and cut off the excess. But it might be too thick with all the hot glue and the fabric in there. I might have to hand sew it. I don't know if the glue will work. Maybe I can glue it. I don't know. But let me try it first. All right. Guys, it is actually too thick to take and put on the sewing machine. So now, guys, I'm just going to try to glue it and see how this turn out. But it might not turn out too good. Oh. Let's see. Come on, push down. My hot glue is not. I got to push it down right here. So we're going to see if this can close it, guys. Woo! Sandwich it together. But normally I sew it. If not, guys, I will have to come back and hand stitch it. Because what it is, is with the glue, it's made it simple hard. It's too hard to take to my 
through my sewing machine. So I'm not able to uh, take it and do it that way. So I'm trying to see Jesus. The glue just burnt me. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm able to close it with the hot glue. So I'm pressing it down, pressing it down. And I'm going to remove any excess. So we're going to see. Oh, it's really thick. I got to cut it piece by piece. If it's going to stay. And if not, I'm going to have to hand stitch it. Because the glue have made it really, really thick. So, yeah, we're going to see. I might have to use my hand stitch to close this off. Because, yeah, it's making it really hard. So, let me finish, guys, and try to see how am I going to secure this part. I got actually glue on the fur. Oh, no. Not good. Oh, no. Look, I got glue on the fur. So, let me keep trying to close it, guys. And I'll come back. Oh, gee. Right, so, trial and error. I didn't realize that closing off, you know, using the hot glue... And going around, putting the lining in it, it made this band a lot thicker. So, unfortunately, I was not able to sew it. So, I used the hot glue gun to close it off. But also, glue wound up oozing all over the fur. So, now, guys, what I'm about to do. So, if you see, gluing it, glue eased all over the fur. So, now what I'm going to do, guys, is to... Uh, Secure it where it don't come loose. I'm going to take an additional piece of this, guys. And I'm going to glue it here and glue it there, guys. And move the fur around to make it lock. Because I'm afraid that it might come loose. So the last thing we want is it coming loose. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to secure it there. And we're going to go around the top of here. So what this is going to do, guys, where we wind up sewing it together, I mean, gluing it together, up oh, out of the frame, sorry. It's going to prevent it from coming to loose. Because the last thing we want is to be wearing something and it up and come loose. And be careful, guys, when you're gluing this part down. Because when I'm pressing, the glue is hot and it's oozing. But I just want to reassure that the glue don't wind up coming loose. It's almost like that little rabbit tail. <laughs> Remember those those hats? But unfortunately, I'm a girl. I don't want that. So I'm just trying to make sure that it don't wind up coming loose on me. So that's why I'm doing this step, guys. Because it is glued together. But I just want to make sure that in the process of it being glued together, I don't wind up losing you know it, it it unraveling and coming to loose so that's why i'm doing this step taking the back and double wrapping it where i try to glue it down together to reassure that it do not come loose and now i need another thing of glue but that's what i'm doing guys closing the back off because yes i wind up gluing it together so just to glue down the back i was afraid what if it come loose so that's why i wrapped the additional piece over and glued it to make sure that it don't come loose so the the extra rabbit that was left over guys don't throw that away right away because you might wind up needing it so now this is secured where it won't come loose and see right here i accidentally got glue on so i'm going to cut this down and glue keep going to make it not look so weird so i need to get some more glue guys so let me get some more glue and i'll come back all right so again i'm still filling it in on the back and i'm trying to make sure that i'm locking in the fur so that it does not come loose so i'm just securing the fur to the back where i have glued it together to reassure that when I'm wearing it, it's not going to come loose. So now just let me secure this side and then 
I will try it on for you guys and let you guys see how it looks. Okay, so I hope this ain't making it too bulky or I can't get it on. So I'm just pressing, guys. And this is the back. Jesus, that hurt. Woo! Okay. So now... Jesus, that glue is hot, guys. Be careful. So now, guys... I'm just moving it around to make the fur be, come on, lay down, to make the fur not look so bulky. So this will be the back part. So you guys see? This is what it looked like. So you guys can make your own rabbit fur wrap headbands for the winter, guys. I hope this glue... Oh, shit. The glue is getting in my hair. It's not always dry. So, guys, I take a couple pictures, and I need to push this and let it dry. But overall, so this, because I have to close it off like this, this will automatically be the back of the hat. So you'll know the back from the front because it's too thick to sew on a sewing machine. I actually broke my needle trying to take it through because basically the, the glue turns hard. So yes, guys, I'm going to take a couple pictures for you guys and yeah, you guys can make your own rabbit fur. And then like I said, this one just has a lining versus the other one yesterday. See, you just put a lining in it. And the other one doesn't have one. You could just see the the uh, the rabbit hide. So, hope it's dry. I want to try it on one more time. I don't want to get glue in my hair. Hot glue. Okay, guys. So, here we go. Well, again. So, you guys can definitely make these at home. And be warm. You guys can be good and warm. You guys, see? See? Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye. Hey guys, so if you guys can see how it looks with your coat. And guys, we can make it in all colors. So if you guys want to try this, try this, guys. And um, for people that want me to make it, uh, I would charge $60. That's with the hide and shipping. And any colors, guys. We can get the rabbit in pink, white, blue, green, yellow. I even seen purple. I even seen royal blue. Any color, guys. Any color that you want. And then if not, guys, follow the video and make it yourself. Just go on Amazon and put in um, rabbit fur hide and you guys see me make it and do it yourself guys and if you don't want to do it you know the sewing machine you can do it by hand it's not a lot of stitching and the little uh remember i made the little keychains and stuff too guys so there you guys go Alrighty, guys i just want to show it matched perfect with my coat bye bye guys just look at this it don't look bad you can actually turn it that way too so I, I was putting that part in the back, but it actually looked kind of cute, like a little fuzzy tail. So you can either turn that part in the back or the front. So alrighty, guys, you guys have an awesome day and make these beautiful rabbit fur headbands and keep your ears warm in the winter because Minnesota, it get very cold. Bye bye, guys. guys how you guys doing today today we're going to make another uh rabbit fur headband this is a hide of rabbit guys and this is just one rabbit but this is a large hide so when you order it like if you got a small head you can order one large hide because you see i got it folded like this and i'm gonna cut it but if you got a bigger head you need two rabbit highs to make the uh the headband so guys today we're going to put a line in it and i'm going to show you guys how to do a lining in the headband and i am going to use a sewing machine to close off the back so we're going to go ahead and get it cut and i found a little idea that it'd be great so if you guys are doing the the rabbit uh 
or fur, find a sheet of paper, a newspaper, and when we cut it on this, we can actually throw this piece in the garbage without making all of that mess. So I'm just going to cut it out. So you see how when all the fur go to shedding, it won't be necessarily all over. We can just ball this up and throw it in the garbage. Or if it's, you know, big enough to do something else with, we can. So maybe it's big enough for a rabbit foot. That's about it. So... Now that I cut, now that I cut that, okay, so that's when the mess come, ouch, Gina, don't start that barking, and then we're going to open it up down the back, open it up, okay, so we open it up down the back, so we get all that stuff out. And now, I'm going to take the pins out. And you see all the loose. So that's why this paper is here, guys. It can catch everything and save you a lot of time of vacuuming and getting it off carpet. I should be doing this on the kitchen floor because it do be hard to get up all this fur. So now that I got that, guys, got everything. I'm getting off all the loose, 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 loose. So, the next step that I'm going to do, guys, if you guys see I got it connected, I'm actually going to go, come on, get off. I'm actually now going to go to the sewing machine, guys, and sew this part down, guys, going across, and I'll come back with the next step. All right. Okay, guys, here go a couple screenshots, and it actually looked cute, too. We're wearing a little fluffy thing in the front so if you guys want to create this get you guys a rabbit hide and go from there guys yes i actually like these a lot and they definitely keep your ears warm in the cold cold winter months so get prepared for winter guys